the fine wine market, although taking a, something of a breather in July has been a relatively resilient place to store capital. Miles Davis is a partner at Wine Asset Managers. He's joined us in the studio to talk about the prospects for this asset class. Miles, welcome. Thank you. Good to see you this morning. Thank you. Uh, just, just give us the sales pitch for a moment here. What, what is the opportunity from here if you want to be invested in this asset? Well, the opportunity in the wine market re remains the same. Basically, it's del delivered double-digit returns over the very long term, going back to the 50s. It's also done that over the last four years since we launched, which includes the credit crunch. So that's obviously a very good performance. Going forward, I don't think it's going to be any different. We've got new players that are in the market, the Chinese, uh, to some extent the Indians, Russians, etc., which have brought a whole new wave of consumer interest. And what is very interesting about that is, given that they are consuming this product, it has a huge effect on the supply side of the equation. So the wine is literally disappearing as it's drunk. Demand continues to rise through the wealth of uh, these emerging economies growing. And from here, we foresee that those returns can continue to be achieved. And what is also very uh, salient in these markets in nervous times, I think, is that because the, the risk appetite is completely different for wine to, an, uh, to a more normal asset class like a stock market or a bond market, we don't have the same sort of risk appetite. Now, I was going to ask you about that because I think we all have our own ideas about how wine and other uh, prestigious assets may be correlated to the financial markets and the availability of capital in low interest rate environments. You've been running this fund, what, for four years? Yeah. So as you've done that, no doubt you've been looking at where there is potential correlation. Do you see any at all well, with equity markets? So the only correlation that really happens is after a big fall. So after the last quarter of 2008, we lost uh, a total of 17% in that last quarter. Um, after that correction, it soon started rebounding. The first half of 2009 was flat. The second half, we were up 8%. This year, we're up 25% already, and I expect that to be a bit higher by the end of the year. So, really, the correlation, well, all long-term correlation numbers are very low, and it really it only does correlate with a big drop in, in global markets. Um, a lot of people talk about...